Hello, it is Sunday, February 5th, 2023. I'm Chris Remo and welcome back to the New York Times Crossword Daily Solve. It is a Sunday puzzle today, which means a big grid. So get ready for a lengthy solve with a theme. Um, a theme with a title, Hollywood Remix. We'll have to see what that's about. Um, in any case, this big themed entitled edition of the Daily Solve has been brought to us by Alex, Laura Saxon, and Victoria Rojishka, as well as, as always, the invaluable Timothy Mark and the indomitable Showmaster. So thank you so much to the five of them, benefactors of the Daily Solve Patreon campaign for their generous support in sustaining this channel, allowing me to, to uh, continue this series every day. I do very much appreciate that. It really does make it possible. And if you yourself would like to become a benefactor as well, get the Daily Solve Let's Check the Crosses mug, you can find that at patreon.com slash daily solve or in the link in the description field underneath the video. And by following that very same link, you can become a patron at any level you please and get access to all of the bonus videos that have gone up on the channel to date, as well as the new ones that go up each week. And uh, I, I know I do still need to do this week's mini puzzle speed solve roundup. I'm very sorry about that. I, yesterday's regular recording went longer than I expected, and I didn't end up having the time in the morning to uh, finish it off, but I will do that today. So look forward to that uh, if you're a patron. I also still have another um, acrostic to, to post, which maybe I probably won't post today because I don't like posting two videos in the same day. It seems a little excessive, but um, well, two bonus videos in the same day. But we, uh, but it'll be up there soon. So thank you to my patrons. Look forward to those. All right. Uh, do also subscribe to the channel if you've not yet done so. And you can join the Daily Self Discord chat server in a link in the description field as well. All right. All that said, let's get on to the puzzle. This is entitled Hollywood Remakes by Jeremy Newton, who has constructed um, a couple dozen puzzles for the Times. And Hollywood Remakes, that's interesting. So it could be, I mean, obviously it could be the names of of remakes, remade films. I suspect it won't be. It'll probably be something like anagram, anagrammed film titles or something like that, but uh, we will just have to find out. So let's start solving. Oh, did I say it was edited as always by Will Shorts? I can't remember. I might have, but in any case, it was. King, Green, Queen, Queen, etc. Are bed sizes maybe? Does that... It could be face cards as well. Does that... No, that... That would be too many letters. Um, okay, so that's that could be it. Summer hours in Dallas. Oh, maybe not. Maybe it's not bed sciences. Because is that Central Standard Time? I think Dallas is, is Dallas Central. Oh, I'm not sure. But it wouldn't be Central uh, Standard anyway. It would be daylight. So it'll be Central or Mountain daylight time, and I don't remember which. Um, well, let's keep looking. It may produce both a cringe and a laugh. A dad joke? No. I thought that would be the case with that D. Hmm. Not sure. Daddy joke. <laughs> that sounds terrible. Is not the answer. Um, that cult's initiation ceremony is brutal. 1983. I have no idea what that's getting at. Obviously, this will be the name of a film or it will involve the name of the film or something like that. But I am not sure. And there's another one. So, oh, right, okay. So here's our revealer. Uh, what you get upon reading aloud the answers to the seven italicized clues. Movie titles? Uh, is there any way that's the answer? Junk, a scow, a, the kind of boat, maybe? Therein lies the rubbed. No idea. Remarkable. Okay, I, don't, I don't know if this is the answer, but um, in any case, let's, uh, let's just keep solving. Let's see what happens. Overly impulsive, rash, a rash decision, an overly impulsive decision um, made without proper thought. Crime show spinoff to fans. I don't know. Skedaddle with it. Hoof it or hightail it. There we go. That's, that's what we're looking for. Greeting that means literally 
love. That's interesting, but I don't know the answer off the top of my head. I'll be curious to see what it is. Um, I mean, I'm thinking of something like, you know, amore, but I don't, I don't think of that as being a greeting. So yuck, wretch. So the, um, brackets could mean we're looking for something here. That's, you know, an action or, or something like that, as opposed to actual language you would say. So it could be, you know, it could, could be trying to evoke a kind of retching motion and sound. Acclaimed rock and roll biopic of 2022. Oh, Elvis. Right. I didn't actually see that. The Baz Luhrmann film. Okay. And presumably not a part of the theme. Oh, maybe it is part of the theme because it's being referenced here. Oh, like the death of 19 across some claimed. Some claim a hoax or... Um, false? I don't, I, don't, I don't know. Do some making up. English football powerhouse to fans. You didn't fool me. Actress Davis, Gina Davis. Like I don't think I don't think the answer is false. Um, aerial threat during the Cold War. Sorry, I don't. Really, let's let's stop doing this. <laughs> Gina Davis is probably correct anyway. And another Hollywood related clue. All right. In any case. Um, what were we looking at? Greeting that means liter literally love. Oh, is it aloha? And it's quite the stretch. A reach? Yes, that's quite a stretch. It was a reach. Ambassador in brief. Is it something like HME for his most excellent or something? His, I mean, HE, his excellency, is a is a not uncommon abbreviation for an ambassador. I'm not sure about a three letter version. This was my guess. I don't know if that's right. Lug around, drag or tote or, I'm not sure. Big drinkers, is reach not right? Prominent features of Sphinx cats. Ears, do they have ears that kind of stick up? That seems plausible. System of unspoken words. American Sign Language, perhaps? And works for me. Let's. Let's do it. Works for me. Diamond shapes or rhombi, rhombuses. Um, a diamond is a, is a kind of rhombus. Uh, neighbor of a return key. Oh. Enter? Why... Neighbor of a return key. What? This doesn't look great at the end. Maybe let's is incorrect. Because these I'm pretty pretty confident about. Neighbor of a return key. Is it actually a keyboard or is it a computer keyboard or is it something else? I'm not sure. Could be a key as in a key to a lock, but uh, let's look elsewhere. Oh, here's another one of these. Bronzed New York baseball player from Bangkok. Um, 1997. Titanic came out in 1997. That's a really famous film that came out in 1997. Um, big Drinkers. From Bangkok could be Thai. This could start with Thai. Thai Tanic. Oh, is it? Is it? Um, what do you? What would you call this? Thai. If Tanic had the, I don't know what Tanic would be, but if it were a homoph, I mean, it would be a series of homophones essentially. But what would you? Is there a term for combining a, a number of independent homophones to sort of create? A phrase or word? I, I don't know. Does that work with this? Big drinkers, big drinkers. Cats? They're not. Cats don't drink very much as far as I'm aware. Um, sorry, why don't I see this? I'm just looking down at the keyboard to see if I can... Um, this is so frustrating. Um, 
What is it, big drinkers? Is reach not right? It's quite the stretch. I like Thai in there for Titanic somehow. Historic builders of rope bridges. Maybe the Incas? That seems plausible. Treaty that was dissolved in 2020. Treaty that was dissolved in 2020. Oh, NAFTA, because it was replaced by whatever the whatever the one is now um, between Canada, the United States, and Mexico. Um, in any case, yeah, it was the the North American Free Trade Agreement was dissolved and replaced with something essentially exactly the same. Okay, pile of papers, a sheaf of papers, and oh, oh, tan is bronzed. Sorry, that one. Doesn't even need to change. Those letters are identical. Bronzed New York baseball player from Bangkok. Tai Tan. So is it the New York baseball player? Is that all one or is that more than one thing? Tai Tan. All we need is ick. <laughs> That's all we need. Um... Is this right? I feel like there's so many letters remaining for such little to actually say. Um, this looks like tough, maybe. Oh, this cult's initiation ceremony is brutal. Brutal could be tough. Tough. 1983. That's less obvious to me. Um, stuff. The right stuff. I was going, I was trying to think, you know, is brutal would be is tough, but I bet we're not going to say is tough because then we'd be repeating exactly the same construction from the clue. So I figured, oh, we'll probably say apostrophe S. So something's stuff, and then that sort of sounds like stuff. And then The Right Stuff, I think, is a film that came out in 1983 about um, test pilots for, for NASA, I want to say. Um, that cult's initiation ceremony is brutal. The Oh, The Rights, as in R-I-T-E. An initiation ceremony. Once again, what we have left is just the word the, similar to ick. It's an incredibly, it seems like we have far too many letters for, for what we're being asked to put in the grid. I don't quite get it. Um, that cult. Uh, I just don't know. Okay, I feel as though I'm. I get the theme at this point. I just don't quite. Oh my goodness! It's already ten minutes in, and I've done almost nothing. This is ridiculous. All right, I need to. I need to move more quickly here. Pay up, ante up into a, a gambling game. Uh, cosmic comeuppance, karma, something. Is that Titan? No, that's not going to be an M. Oh, it could be karma here. Titan. Tank? No, it's not going to be it either, either. Okay, something in a cocoon. Larva? Something hall, home of the NCAA's pirates, I'm not sure. Many a Zoroastrian. Irani, maybe? Line at a karaoke bar. A lyric? A line from a song? Hogan's Heroes Colonel. Oh, Colonel um, Klopp or Colonel something like that with a K. Something in a cocoon. Oh, silk. Like a silkworm. Uh, emerald or aquamarine. Barrel or something? Like some sort of... Uh, it works with Irani. Um, oh. Okay. I think I actually... Is it Seton Hall? That rings a bell because the pirates... Is it the Pittsburgh pirates? Seton Hall? Is that... Something to do with the American Revolution? I don't know. Uh, I'm not, I have sort of vague associations in my mind. I can't really place any of it, but let's just remember that I thought that might be the answer because it might help with the crosses. And it does work here. Creator of the games, Zybots and Clax, Atari, I suppose. I wouldn't have actually known um, that was Atari specifically, but it works with that T, if indeed that is the answer. So that A here still allows karma to be in either either position here. Not stay outside informally. To head 
indoors to head. Sure. Oh, Colonel, is it Colonel Clink? Is that right? Head, head on in. Head on in, not stay outside. There we go. Okay. I guess it is Colonel Clink. Um, Titan Nick. New York basketball player. Oh, right. Sorry. Did I have I been saying basketball player? I can't remember if I've been saying basketball player or baseball player, but in my head, I've definitely been thinking baseball player, regardless of what I was saying. That's ridiculous. So yes, Titan Nick. So the the Knicks, the New York Knicks basketball team. Okay, there we go. That that's it. That's our first fully completed theme clue. So many of Zoroastrian is indeed Irani. That's what I would have thought. And this is Seton Hall, I think. And then Emerald or Aquamarine, it must be Beryl. I don't exactly know what the sort of relationship is here. I just know that Beryl is, you know, also some kind of mineral and, or stone. And, and I, it just seemed like it was probably the answer. And I guess it was. Cosmic comeuppance, bad karma. Okay, there, there we go. It did end with karma. Why did I think it didn't? Oh, because then I thought, I thought this wouldn't work. But that's because I forgot about the existence of KN with a silent K. All right, Blank Stavro Blofeld, enemy of 007. Ernst, I think, is the name of that villain. Ernst Stavro Blofeld, the James Bond villain. Doses after a dose, say, nar... Uh, doses after a dose. So it could be sleep as a noun or a verb. Um, but I'm not sure which. Well, I'm not even sure what the answer would be, regardless of which it is. Category for, oh, category for which every 30 down in this puzzle was recognized aptly. Every, what you get upon re, okay, so it is, the, I mean, they are movie titles. So let me just put that back in. Movie titles. Okay, there we go. So, uh, sorry if you can hear me. <laughs> Apparently I'm hungry. My stomach is growling. I apologize for that. If that's coming through the mic, I don't know if it is. Okay, category for which every 30 down in this puzzle was recognized aptly. What would start with S? Um, I assume they mean in the Academy Awards. Parks at a pier. Oh, more as you moor a ship at a, at a pier. Sound, sound design or sound mixing. I think they've changed the name of this award over the years. Um, I don't remember which it is now. Not sound editing, sound mixing. Maybe that's it. Maybe that's the current name. Let's see if these crosses work. And that would make sense because obviously we're, we're using sound to hear the answers to these. So losing line in tic-tac-toe would be XOX or XXO. It'll be one of those two, or XOO, actually, never mind. It'll be one of those three. Uh, easily persuaded sort could be Uh, goober or something. I'm not sure. I'm trying to think of what would have an O or an X there. Things pandas have 20 of toes, I suppose. So that doesn't help. This will be still an X or an O. One in the oil business. And six foot runners are news, I suppose. End of a flight in two senses. End of a flight in two senses. So one an airline flight, maybe, and the other, maybe a flight of wine or something or flight of an arrow the, the fletching on an arrow um i'm not sure like threads for clothing slang don't know what the extra letter there would be um okay let, let's go back to, to to an area with more more fill not play by oneself, perhaps. Something, do a duet. There we go. Yes. Its loss can cause baldness. A tress of hair? It doesn't really cause baldness. That just is baldness. Um, oh, tread. Tire tread. There we go. I bet that's the answer. Filling station brand. Oh, STP. This was in the puzzle recently. Well, as well, I think, as a sponsor of car races. Total breeze, a snap, it was a snap. Doses after a dose, say. No, oh, nods off. If one dozes after a dose, one nods off, you could say. 
There we go. Takes a, takes a nap or goes to sleep. Belly cutesly. Oh. That's sort of surprising. FM. Maybe this isn't sound mixing. Sound. Belly. What's one's belly called? I don't With an F in it. One in the oil business. Losing line in tic-tac-toe. Oh, right. Okay. Yeah, we already know what that's going to be. I thought, well, mixing does seem likely because it needs to have X or O there. It does seem like it's probably what's going to be the case. So, so what, so what is going on here? I don't know. Let's come back to it. Okay. With a B, that's interesting. Bucatini, ZT, and Rigatoni, EG. Um, well, those are pasta shapes. Oh, and they're all tubes. Those, those are all tubular pasta shapes. There we go. Bucatini is a tube. It's just a very, very, very narrow tube. It's essentially spaghetti with a hole running all the way through it. Um, and then, uh, yeah, Z ZT and a uh, much thicker hole and then a rigatoni somewhere in between. I would think. <laughs> Unless I'm misremembering. Anyway, ganja uh, weed. And... Passes out, meets out, as in doles out. Work of appreciation, of course, the official poetic form of the New York Times crossword, the ode. Places could be loci, as in um, the, the plural of locus, so um, areas of focus, or, you know, sort of hubs or something like that. Okay, 1983, number one hit for David Bowie, Let's Dance. And what is this? Oh, it's one of these. Why the Devil Was Forced to Pay the Greatest, 1969. Well, the greatest, capitalized like that, would be Al, uh, Muhammad Ali. Um, why the Devil Was Forced to Pay. Ode. Oh, Ode Ali. Ode Ali. Ode Ali. Hello, Dolly. There we go. <laughs> hell, I see hell is in where the devil resides. So hell... Oh, Dolly. And we make the musical film, Hello, Dolly. Okay. Works for me. Works for me. I don't know why I don't see that, but I don't. Many a watch display for short. LED, so you could have a digital watch with a, an LED display. To make an appearance is to show, to show up. Neighbor of a return key. Oh, slash, backslash. Oh, is this not movie titles. I'm very surprised. Okay. So what you get upon reading aloud the answers to the seven italicized clues, you get, I just can't, um, I, can't I can't think of any alternatives. Maybe it's something punnier. Uh, recipe quantity, a tablespoon. There we go. Junk could be not a scowl, but uh, which I don't think would have been accurate anyway. Um, therein lies the rubbed and anise flavored liqueur uh, per note. So it's sort of um, similar to kind of often used as a substitute for absinthe, has that anise flavor. Not good, amigo. No bueno? Yeah. There we go. So literally no good. Do some making up. Fib, you lie, you make things up. And English football powerhouse to fans. Um, well, I live in England, but that doesn't make me any more, more likely to get the sports clues as it seems. Um, I actually do I assume it's referring to a team rather than a player, but I actually don't even know that for, for certain. Like the death of 19 across some... Oh, faked. Riley comical. Oh. And maybe this... Oh, maybe titles is wrong. Maybe more... Yeah, more of this I might have been wrong, wrong than I thought. So Riley comical droll. There we go. And on display as a painting galleried or something. I don't think that's right. You didn't fool me. I knew it. There we go. 
Okay, aerial threat during the Cold War, a MiG. Oh, it's Man United, Manchester United. Okay, so I was being, I did at least know this, but I was being thrown off by whatever, whatever incorrect letter I had in there before. Okay, Man U. Um, what you get, oh, and then MiG is the, the, um, was the Soviet era fighter, fighter jet aircraft. Okay, so what is this? Something or tinner. Sorry, I don't I don't know why I'm just not seeing this at all. Um, let's keep getting the crosses, maybe. Freak is scare. He freaked, he scared. That doesn't really work. Um could be a noun or a verb, obviously. Or an adjective, actually. You could have a freak occurrence. That's an adjective. Junk toss something into the bin. Junk it. Freak, does that work? Oh, Oscar winner, Oscar winner. Ah, okay, so it wasn't just implied that the Academy Awards are being referenced here. It was expressly stated. So remarkable. Oh, why did I put toe here? It was just because of movie titles and I never revisited it. So remarkable is wow. Okay, I should have been more careful about that. Um, therein lies the rubbed. The rubbed. See, why would that be the case? Spa? Oh, you're rubbed in, in the sense of being massaged, maybe? You're lying down and being rubbed, I guess. <laughs> Weird way to put it, but but in a punny way it works. Freak, ah, to go ape, to freak out. All right, spurred into action, goaded. And then works for me, deal. Okay, didn't see that before, but that's the answer. Big change in price or power, a surge. A, a surge in prices or a power surge. Bit of memory for short. A megabyte? And a bit of apparel that covers the face, a scheme mask? That cult's initiation ceremony is brutal. Oh, I was going to say their right stuff, but that would be a little, that would be an odd way to pronounce it. Um, it may produce both the cringe and a laugh. I do not know what's going on here. Classic record label. EMI is a, is a record label. Uh, lug around, tote something. I think I wanted to say that before and I didn't put it in for some reason. King, queen, etc. Oh, dark, dark humor. Okay, I was thinking cringe in the sense of it being sort of embarrassing, but this is, I guess, also sort of embarrassing in the sense that maybe it's something kind of morbid. Nice joke. Huh? Is it just as simple as that? That cult's initiation ceremony. Turn into confetti, shred paper. Is it their, their right stuff? I guess so. Previous, yeah, I suppose it is. And you just sort of have to elide it in speech. The right stuff, the right, the right stuff. I think the name of the film was The Right Stuff. Um, it's funny because we have that literally written here. We just have these extra two words, two letters. All right, previously poetically could be air as in before, being used in a poetic sort of way. And so a chess set, king, queen, etc., all the way to pawn would be a chess set. All right. It's quite the stretch, an epoch, a, a period of time. And ambassador in brief would be a rep, I guess, someone representing someone else, uh, an ambassador on behalf of a nation. Big drinkers are sots. Okay, yes, drunkards. I don't know why it, it didn't come to mind. And I think we're all set here. Finally, we can move on. <laughs> Halfway done. Got to pick up the pace. High point of a trip to Europe, an alp, maybe a high point, a high mountain. Didn't go anywhere, one idled, sat around. Missions in brief. Ops, operations. Blank okay, that's okay, I suppose. Simple phrase. One who makes calls, an ump, an umpire in a, in a, um, a baseball game, like a referee. 
Cry After Remembering to Meet at Noon, 1984. Something midday. Oh, midday. Amadeus, the Peter Weir film. No, it's not. Sorry, it's not Peter Weir. It's um, Miwash Foreman. Miwash Directed Amadeus. Sorry, I was completely wrong about that. Um, why did I get that wrong? That was odd. Anyway, uh, I absolutely love the film Amadeus. I think it's just a completely one of the one of the truly excellent films. Um, ah, midday. Yes, because we're remembering ah midday. Yes, okay. I see. I see how it is. Ah midday. Yes, that's when we shall meet. All right, there we go. Grammy-winning DeFranco, Annie DeFranco is a singer, and time out in pre-K is a nap. Change for the better would be to amend a um, document or something, to improve it. Writer Rand, Ayn Rand, the, the writer, and out of control, if you're out of control, you're a mock. Cowboy's cry of excitement would be yippee or yes something one way one way to cross a lake by uh, you could ford it i'm not sure you wouldn't really afford a lake i suppose you afford a river um okay belly cute silly your tum okay why didn't i get that before i must have had a, an incorrect cross doses after a dose say oh nods out really nods off nods out Maybe, I mean, I don't know. Maybe there's attestation for that. I don't... Nods out. Okay. One in the oil business. Something, oh, a, a painter, an artist. You could do an oil painting. And an easily persuaded sort. I'm not sure. Losing line in tic-tac-toe. X or O again. Probably an O, given that S. And subject of SETI space scans... Um, you know, so I know what SETI is. It's the search for extraterrestrial intelligence, and they kind of process data from space. I don't actually know what it is they process specifically, so I'm not sure what what this is. Let's keep looking around. Easily persuaded sort. I feel like this area should be getting these things, and I'm, I'm missing something important. Like threads for clothing. Okay, we'll keep. We'll look around elsewhere. Uh, you there hoarding the hoarding the Quattro Razor Scram two thousand two, two thousand two Scram. Um, I am not seeing that immediately. Word with pie pot or port. Feel bad to ale. Oh, Schick. Schick is a razor brand. Do they make the Quattro razor, perhaps? Schick. What would be a film title that would start with that syllable? You there, hoarding the Quattro razor. So we need to get in sort of thick sheaf go or something like that. It's good in order to actually communicate all of the ideas in the clue, but there are not very many letters to do it. I mean, it could end with go. Does that work at all? Travel through time. Oh, age, maybe. You literally travel through time when you age. Classic Disney film. It is this. Classic Disney film that opens at Flynn's Arcade would be the film Tron. So, so we need someone hoarding it. Oh, I guess that's not a thief necessarily. Chicago. <laughs> Right. I was thinking hoarding as a thief, but that's not correct. It's someone who's who's hogging something, who's keeping it for too long. Chicago, Chicago, go. Chicago, the film Chicago. Okay. That was indeed a Hollywood remake, I suppose. Or was it? Was it a remake or was it just an adaptation? Cowboy's Cry of Excitement. Yeehaw. There we go. Okay. You cross a lake by a canoe. I don't know why those things weren't more obvious. Tapped chose you chose somebody you tap them for a given role or position word with pie pot or port hole pie hole pothole or porthole there we go 
Chew the fat is chatter now. Um, Stefani, who sang the, sang the 1996 hit Don't Speak, Gwen Stefani. And jubilant cheer, Olay, you might jubilantly cheer, maybe at a, maybe at a Man U game. Alien, oh, alien life. Okay, so that by subject, they don't mean the actual data that they parse. They mean the subject of their search, what they're actually looking for, which is alien life. Okay, so options for bees knees cocktails, gins, I suppose. I don't know if I've had a bee's knees. I can't, couldn't tell you what's in it, but gin, I suppose. Like threads for clothing. Slangy? Is that what that's getting at? No. Easily persuaded sort. Okay, I feel as though I have something wrong here. Maybe this isn't news. A softy? You're a big softy. You're easily persuaded. Six foot runners. Sound, I do not understand what's going on here. I'm going to delete all of these, even though I don't think it's all wrong, just because I want to remind myself that I don't have the answers over there at this point. On display as a painting, wall hung. Partner of Clark in American history, Lewis, as in Lewis and Clark, the uh, explorers or whatever they were exactly. Alternative to Levi's, oh, did I spell, I guess I spelled droll as it's spelled in French. So, in English, it would be spelled D-R-O-L-L, -L, Riley Comical Droll. And then alternatives to Levi's could be Lee's, another jeans brand, and serves with on, waits on, as in a server in a restaurant. Chew the fat, chit chat, there we go, that rhymes. How one cannibal felt after devouring the other, 2000. I mean, I see eat in there. This looks like it ends in music. Latest releases of sorts, new music. Grind, Nash, so grinding of teeth. IT bigwig. I assume this is IT for information technology, so sort of tech support, that kind of thing. Rival of a vet. So this could be a Chevrolet Corvette, which could be rivaled by a Ford Mustang, which is a bit of a, a I mean, a Corvette is a much more expensive car. Um, grind could be Nash. Again, it could still be there. Brought about, led to, and well, shucks. Oh man, you could say. Part of HK Hong Kong. And contacting on Twitter for short could be DMing, direct messaging. And then IT big, big oh, admin, administer systems administrator. There we go. Glad he ate, one, how one cannibal felt after devouring the other. Glad, gladiator, glad he ate her? What? I don't understand how this follows. Glad he ate her. How one cannibal felt. I don't really understand how this sort of, how this very morbid scenario is working here. Um, oh, oh, it's not, okay, sorry. We're, we're describing that feeling from third person. I thought we were imagining the situation from the perspective of the cannibal. And I was thinking, well, why is it her rather, you know, or he rather than I or... But I see. So we're we're saying that cannibal is glad he ate her. Okay. And the film Gladiator, obviously, the what Ridley Scott film. Compadre is something. Journalist in a field. And nickname for mom's mom, Gran. Neighbor of an Emirati in Omani, someone from Oman, near the United Arab Emirates, perhaps. Journalist in a field. Rapper behind the King's Disease Trilogy. I don't know, is it Nas? Copy to a cat. I dig. So like a hep cat from the, you know, kind of 1950s slang, perhaps. 
I dig. I copy. Compliment to Daisy during a game of fetch. This reads like one of those theme clues, but um, it doesn't appear to be. Auditing a class, maybe sitting in. If you're auditing a class, a university class, you're sitting in, but not being, not enrolled. DDE's Dwight D. Eisenhower's World War II Battleground. Oh, is it European Theater of Operations, which was in the puzzle recently also? Maybe. Ball game. And like the smell of burnt rubber. Acrid, sort of acrid, pungent, burning sort of sensation. End of a flight in two senses, right? We'll come back to that. Sci-fi film staple for short. CGI, computer generated imagery white wine aperitif could be a cure that's a that's a, a cocktail involving white wine and show with a what's up with that segment for short um i don't actually recognize this but i assume just based on the fill it's sn oops snl saturday night live yeah um that would be my guess Good girl, compliment to Daisy during Game of Fetch. Okay, so da Daisy's a dog. There isn't really, actually really, really anything punny going on here at all. It's just a phrase you might say to a dog. Ball game. Lotto, um, sort of random drawings made on, made via numbered balls. Anxiety condition for short could be obsessive compulsive disorder, OCD. This looks like tricks or tracks. Some, oh, we haven't read this one yet. Some optical illusions created with one's fingers, 1999. Um, optical illusions would be tricks, 1999. The, the matrix, the... Oh, uh, maybe it's not grand for grandma. It's Graham, there we go. And once again, we just need to make the, as in the right stuff, but we need to spread it out among quite a few letters. So, created with one's fingers. I don't know. Compadre and journalist in a field. Socrat composers. Is it Eric Satie? Great Basin people. Utes? Oh, is it Thumb Made Tricks? <laughs> I see. Thumb Made thumb made Tricks. Okay, there we go. Oh, an embed, a journalist in a field, an embedded journalist, which you could, which can be referred to as an embed. There we go. Okay, so a homie is a compadre and miffed with off, te I'm teed off, I'm miffed. So like threads for clothing, end of a flight in two senses, landing. Oh, as in a flight of stairs, a land, right, the landing on a, a stairway. Okay, so this does look like slang. This is probably sound mixing, slangy, I guess. And softy, why are six foot runners ants? Oh, because they have six legs. <laughs> Uh, okay, there we go. All right, a very punny puzzle for us today. Um, what you get upon reading the answers, reading aloud the answers to the seven italicized clues, we get Oscar winners. And not only that, we get all Oscar winners um, in the category of sound mixing, which I do think was, I do think is the current title the current name for that category only within the last few years, possibly. Um, correct me if I'm wrong. And let's go through and, and read them. So this that cult's initiation ceremony is brutal. They're right stuff. The right stuff. The bronzed New York bas uh, basketball player from Bangkok, the Thai Tank Nick, Titanic. Titanic. <laughs> um, why the devil was forced to pay the greatest... Hell owed Ali. Hello, Dolly. Uh, the cry after remembering to meet at noon. Ah, midday. Yes, Amadeus. Let's just remind myself what we're looking here. You there, hoarding the quattro razor. Scram. Chicago. Go. Chicago. Uh, how one cannibal felt after devouring the other. Gladiator. Gladiator. And finally... Some optical illusions created with one's fingers. Thumb made tricks. The Matrix. Very clever 
uh, and quite a few of these by Jeremy Newton. So well done to him. Uh, quite a journey through decades and decades of sound mis- sound mixing um, Oscars. I guess we don't know if these are all sound. Are these all winners or just nominees? This says category for which every 30 down in this puzzle was recognized. I don't know. I'm not sure if recognized is sort of specific language that means one of those two things or or not. But um, in any case, all films with high quality sound mixing in, to some extent. Um, and there we go. Very well done. Uh, enjoyed that. Took me, took me a while, 41 minutes. But so it goes on Sunday quite frequently. All right. Thank you so much for joining me for the Sunday edition of The Daily Solve. I'll be back tomorrow, of course, for the much quicker, much simpler Monday crossword. Hope you join me then. But until that point, please do have an excellent remainder of your Sunday. Take care. Mm-hmm.